Hi, welcome to my channel, Ellen's DIYs, where I like to do everything on a budget. I've done a piece of everything over the years. DIYs, making over furniture, decorating, anything I can get my hands on. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's get on with this project. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to make a message board. I've got these cork tiles. I'm sure I got them from IKEA. They came like this back for Can't see IKEA, so I can't remember any. I'm going to put them in a frame so they're too big. So what I've done is I've taken them and I've centered them on the frame, calculated each side, and then cut the piece off the bottom. And what I've done is I've put on top of the other tile, use this board for a straight edge. Marked where I want it, use my straight edge and then cut it with a spinal knife right down. And then it comes apart quite easy. It just comes like this. Maybe that bit wasn't too easy. And just comes off like that. And then I just score it down the back. These are actually self adhesive and quite sticky. So hopefully they fit. I've got this cream from my key. Um, so I think it's a cupboard door and I got it for £3 in um, the bargain corner it's £3 which is no bad um, and this is what I'm going to use for my message board um, I gave it a wee clean and I'm just going to put these in and see if they fit the way I want them so far so good And I've put the cut edges to the outside so that the seams in the middle are fairly straight. And this one's quite tight at the top there. Let's take another wee piece of it. And then from the bits that are cut, cut off, I'm just going to fill in these spaces. I think I might need to trim them a wee bit, but once I've done that, they should be fine. It'll be completely full. So I'm just Self adhesive sticker off the back. I'll put it right in the corner as tight as I can. And I'm not gluing it on because then if I want to use the, the window again or something, I can. Just reuse it, turn it back on. I'll do the other ones and come back. Right, I've got the port board in now. I'll put the I'm going to have to cut any extra, so that's good. Um, one of the things, I'm going to, because it's, it's for my daughter's room, I'm going to do it in the next to Valentine's. I'm going to do a love part in the middle. 
you know, a free handy gift. I put it on like here, two pieces of paper because it was big. Um, and then I just free hand through that. But I'm still thinking it's just tiny wee bit wider than I want here. So I think I'm just going to trim it slightly. Um, if you double it over, then you get exactly what you the same size at each side. Because I'm going to paint this red, I'm going to outline the love heart in red so that um, I know I've not got any other colour showing through. It's not the easy thing to draw on this cut, but. the outside and then I will move it to the to the tape. tape so I can put it straight back down. Love heart red. What I decided to do is just go around the tape on the edges. Now that I think it'll stop it bleeding, but I think it'll save me dripping it on it. I have to do it in tiny pieces just because of the shape. Using tiny bits of tape to get into the point. Mm 
got this from B and M a few months back for two pound. It's just gloss, high gloss, so and it's called Signal Red. Um, I just used a pencil to start it. I'm just going to use that to paint this. Rubbish um, pen, eh, paint brushes here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a really small thin brush just to do the edges and do the edges really, really um, faint to start with, not put lots of paint on, and hopefully, by the time I get to them, they can take a second coat. got this the B and M. It's two pound, and I've taped down the, the heart, and I'm just going around with just a wee faint line to start way around the edges, just so it doesn't bleed too bad. It's signal red, the paint's called. I'm going to just put it in the middle here so that I don't drip it everywhere. Give this a quick coat, and then by the time I do the rest, it hopefully I'll be able to spot the bits that I've missed and go back and do them again. Right, now that I've done the edges, I'm just going to use a bigger brush, just a brush that will probably go in the bucket after this because I'm trying to wash it gloss paint's a nightmare. I'm just pushing this paint right in so that I can get as much coverage as possible. Right now that I've got it um, painted, I'm going to take the tape off while it's wet so that it doesn't stick. You should use this paint in a well ventilated area. You can wear a mask if you're the asthma or anything. I've just got my patio windows open. Right, my paint's nearly dry but not quite. Um I just want to put some new letters up here so you can leave a message. Um I got these letters from the range. I thought they were self adhesive but they're not. Um I'm sure they were a pound, they wouldn't have been any more from the range. I've got them all set here. I'm just going to take them off one by one and check where I think I want them. Put them there. I know I'm going to put them on with a, a tiny wee dab of hot glue. I'm not sure I've discovered, I don't know really know the meaning of a tiny wee dab. Just put all those pores out. I'll put it backwards in case you're wondering, so I don't touch any of the other paint. I just cut these off, they come in a huge plastic sheet. 
you know, the letters, and you get a fair amount in it. You could probably write a few this. I got this all out of one packet. I have kind of checked it all first to make sure these fit. Because I do have wooden ones, but I couldn't. I only got one pack of them, two packs of them, and it wasn't enough. I needed another one. So these were a, a substitute. I knew where that was in. Same thing, still got them. What I'm doing is just lining that to the top and hoping that that makes them look straight. What I've done is at the bottom here, I've got some post-it notes. I kind of cut them in similar shape to our part. And then I've got these wee clips. And I'm just going to hang them in there. I'm just going to do it with hot glue and see if it sticks. Over here. I'll put these wee pins, pink pins, on the side. And that's it finished. Just needs a wee clean up. And I'll show you in a minute. This is what it looks like when it's finished. The lower part's still wet. Um. Hopefully family will send me a message and I can write them on it for her. Hope you enjoyed these DIYs. If you did, please share with your friends and family. I'll leave a list of what I've used in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.